Well, YouTube, thank you for tuning in. I'm playing a little Infamous here. Infamous 2, the sequel to the first game. I love that first game. And I love Infamous 2 even more. Check this out. I mean, what game allows you to do this? Just to grab a car. Boom! <laughs> it's just, uh, I don't know, it just game just plays so smooth you know, especially the controls uh, the main character just feels like he's a, he's a monkey he's just climbing and climbing and um, as said the controls are so tight like in the first game um, and this is a game that really I think is the ultimate superhero game you know, you have you have those Batman games and, and Spider-Man, but this is a sort of a more more um, original game. You know, Infamous. The I think it's ha quite inspired by um, Star Wars. You know, the, with the lightsabers and the different Force uh, spells and how you say the different forces you can use and. Um, Infamous allows you to do that too, like, like how to dispose these guys there, you know. Um, I'll use some lightning bolts. Um, it's just uh, a lot of fun and you, now you have this, this weapon that's new in the second game. This weapon is really a lot of fun to wield. Some quick time events, of course, just to finish these guys off. Um, and you just you're, you're on your way immediately just just climbing and gliding um, it's just a breeze to play this you know it's um, I'm, I'm always cursing these controls of different games that are so tight and so um, I don't know so precise but this is so so fluid and, and you just you hardly think while you're you're playing it like while you're controlling the main character um, and uh, it's really in this comic style um, setting, you know, this is uh, the city, um, you get all these um, comic book style cutscenes, uh, it's really unique, I haven't seen anything like it, um, but um, yeah, it's, it's really amazing, can't really find anything really wrong with it, although maybe the, um, well, the main characters kind of blend, but um, there are basically two sides to him and you can explore these two sides with different powers you know you can either be good or bad and uh, choosing to be good uh, do good deeds will give you uh, different powers um, and uh, more, less lethal powers but um, more stun powers and if you're more of uh, an evil character and it will show on how the character actually looks uh, during the game um, but you'll you'll get some different powers that will do a lot of destruction now um, th this footage is from uh, quite early in the game uh, so so I won't spoil anything um, but um yeah it's just you know just showing you a little um, footage of, uh, of the gameplay now I'm I'm, uh, I'm sure this is not the best footage out there, you know, I've, I've, I've recorded it with my camera, um, so I still have to, f to buy some uh, extra stuff to, or to actually be able to transfer uh, video imagery from uh, the PS3 to my PC in order to uh, create higher quality gameplay footage. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing your, yeah, well, my, my subscribers, uh, justice uh, by showing you this shitty footage but um, uh, just you know think of it as uh, you know it comes from the good heart and um, I just want to show you why you know it just kind of um, give you an idea why I think this game is so good and you know why, why looking at um, this game you know yeah, you can you can actually climb every building and you go everywhere and uh, you know of course elements of of other games in this game um, like Sp Spider-Man and, and, and all that um, 
and uh, Assassin's Creed, of course. But this this game plays so much, so much better, so much more fluent, um, and it's kind of unique in its setting. Uh, another thing is that's new in the second game is that uh, as I'm climbing the tower here, um, n another thing in, um, new in the um, in the second game is the fact that uh, people can create their own levels and, and missions and I don't know just their, their own content and um, this content will be seam seamlessly be uh, incorporated. Began as in the game, of uh, as you play it, you know, in the game world itself. So you can choose uh, to do missions that just pop up on your map and go there and see what kind of a rating a certain mission um, has from other users who have played the mission. And you can see whether or not you want to play that mission as well based on the, uh, the rating system. So it's really a very fluent system of um, um, using um, user-created content in game, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, that's basically uh, what I wanted to say about this game. Um, so I just want to know what your game of the year is, you know, and why, especially why. Now, a lot of you might uh, find that, uh, or, or think that um, um, Skyrim is the best game of 2011, and um, I think uh, I can agree with that uh, in a way because Skyrim is just a huge game. But the question is whether or not Skyrim actually does something new or brings something new to the table that we have, haven't seen before in other uh, previous games or previous Elder Scroll games. So, um, well, anyway, I just wanted to show you this uh, footage um, and. Uh, well, I want to thank you for watching and let me know what you uh, what you think. Bye.